Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday news show, your one-stop shop for climbing action, shop stuff and epic TV content. Hey T, how you doing? I'm good, not as good as you, cause uh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you very much. Uh, I'm feeling incredibly old. Uh, I still make that sound when I stand up. That nice haircut as well. Thank you. Just birthday haircuts all round. And let the happy birthday be sung by everyone. Happy birthday! Right, let's crack on with the news because no one really cares about birthday yes, stuff they do. because it is time for an IFSC catch up. This weekend saw the final round of the IFSC Lead World Cup. It took place in Kran, Slovenia, a historic venue that has hosted World Cups for years. The women's final provided a stunning spectacle. Natalia Grossman added to the long list of medals she's already won this season with another bronze. She just missed a slap around the volume to fall high on the route. Sheon So climbed early on and held the high point for a long time. It might have been enough on any other competition, but Yanya Gambret was back. It was a last minute decision for her to compete, but once again, her form was incredible. She came very close to topping out, pushing Sheon So into silver, taking the win and the overall season victory. The men's route had a stopper move, which meant a lot of the top four had the same score and places were decided due to countback. Sebastian Helenke is having a great comeback season and he was delighted to get the bronze medal. Luca Potica had made finals before, but he hadn't stood on the podium. That changed in Kranje as he took silver in front of his home crowd. Mashihiro Higuchi was last on the lead podium in 2018, but he found a new high gear for this comp. He went past the sequence that shut everyone else down, climbed highest and took the gold. Oh, so while well, you guys were frasassying uh, in the sunshine, I was locked into a Kranje stadium. But what a competition. Actually, Matthew, mm. I did watch a bit of the finals. Did you? Okay. Yes, I just missed out on Yanya. You missed Yanya? I know, because we had dinner at like 7.30 and everybody was oh. like going around and stuff. Well, look, um, it was Yanya's comp. She, she said that she wasn't, she hadn't really been training. Uh, she didn't really feel like it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I mean, she had, of course she had been. But, you know, she, she, hadn't, she wasn't really going to compete. Right. It was that World Cup, very special for her. She came back and yeah. won it. What else can you say? And then uh, I didn't really listen to that voiceover, but did you mention Stefano winning the... Uh, I didn't overall. know. So Yanya won the overall for the women and then Stefano Gisolf, the epic TV athlete, won the overall. Even though he had a big hand pop in the semi-finals, didn't okay. make it to the finals, but still won the overall. So Stefano, nice Grande. One. Grande. Next up, 9A News from Canada. As seen on her Instagram, Paige Klassen has been hanging out in British Columbia, trying out Dreamcatcher. On the 2nd of September, she was able to send it, making the first female ascent of this line. She explains how the first time she tried it out was seven years ago, and that over the years, she had to change her climbing style to become faster and climb with more confidence. Okay, so there's this big Instagram post about it and uh, she said a couple, well, she told the whole story behind the line. Um, but her last paragraph made me laugh because she goes like, what a weird day, but so happy I found my Passat on the line. <laughs> that so. is, if I could do any sport route in the world, that would be my sport route. Uh, yeah, I'd like to say the same, but that was like one of the 9As that I like had on the list of 9A first female ascent. <laughs> so it kind of went. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. Oh, so I'm, Paige is now your enemy. No, no, no. I'm, I'm very proud of her and like what a cool line to do. Yeah. It is. And um, the Sharma Passat. I can't wait to see the video. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Uh, let's move on to more cool lines. Trad climbing this time in the UK. As seen on her Instagram, Emma Twyford has climbed Mercia Wall, an E86C. It's a route with small holds and small gear. She did work the moves before going for the send and actually fell the first time she did it, after the E8 part on the E5 section when a foothold broke. She sent it second go, proving once again her trad climbing credentials. So nice one, Emma. Uh, she climbs 9A sport. She does loads of hard trad. Absolute boss, all rounder, amazing lady. Where's this route? Like by the sea? Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, yeah, by the sea and small hold, small gear. The right side is spicy, is what she said on her Instagram. So like 
hard, a little bit scary with the small gear, but not deathy. Yeah, but then do the condition matter when you're by the sea? Like, do you wait for like a windy day because you don't want it to be humid? Generally, yeah, and conditions are a bit fickle as well. Mm. But yes, sort of sloppy, slopey handholds is not what you want. Right. Mm. Uh, next up, uh, news from the US about a very mm. hard boulder. Dylan Barks never has climbed anything harder than 8B+, but now he has sent Creature from the Black Lagoon an 8C+, first climbed by Daniel Woods. So Dylan actually uh, said that he just climbed more outdoors this year and that he would take longer climbing trips to get more used to climbing on rock. So yeah, jumping from... <laughs> 8B plus to 8C plus. Super impressive. Hope for us all. Can I jump from just below 8A to 8C? Matt, just because it's your birthday and I want to see you happy, I'm going to say yes. Thanks. Okay, I'll get yes. out there. Get to it right away. Uh, I forgot what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about multi pitch uh, roots from the Dolomites. Sieb Van He has made the first repeat of the multi pitch Project Fear in the Dolomites. The route was first climbed in 2014 by Dave McLeod and is on the north face of the Cima Ovres di Lavaredo. It climbs through an enormous roof with difficulties up to 8C. Sieber actually made the decision to link the three roof pitches together in one giant 50 meter section. He fell twice before sending the crux on this monster third go. He suggests a slight downgrade of the grade suggested by Dave McLeod, but wants to wait until a third person has climbed it before making any conclusions. So yeah, second uh, ascent of that route. Awesome. Why are you looking so terrified? Wow. Oh. Why would you link 50 meters of overhang? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty monster, isn't it? I guess it just cuts out a load of hanging bee legs that sound really miserable. I guess. Well, he... Why? That doesn't matter for him. He's the one climbing. Yeah, I mean, he fell as well. Heart rate, twi the twice he fell, once over the, the lip of the roof to a yeah. jug, fell, and then he popped a foot or something else happened. But yeah, third time lucky. Nice one. No, amazing. Okay, next up, we've got the 9A roundup kicking off with a 12-year-old kid. Gianluca Vighetti climbed TCT, a 9A in Gravere. With this ascent, he becomes the first 12-year-old to climb a 9A. Stefano Ghisolfi made the first ascent of this line back in 2014 and the name TCT is in memory of Tito Traversa. The not so popular route in Seyus called Pornography, a 9A, got repeated by David Finnenberg and Stefan Scarpieri. Interestingly, Stefan commented on the grade that with a knee pad it's an 8C+, but without it's a 9A, and David said it felt like a soft 9A. As reported on 8A.NU, Joshua Ibertson, who did his first 8B plus at age 12, now has done his second 9A, Northern Lights. It took him about 20 sessions. Right, Gianluca, 12 years old, 9A, beating Adam Andra because he did his first 9A at the <laughs> age of 13. Uh, what a dude. Yeah, what a dude. That is pretty awesome. What an achievement. Uh, let's move on to the 9B counter. <laughs> Anything? Anything? That 9A counter. Oh, women's name. Page. Yeah, Page. One point. Big up, y'all. Big up, y'all. Big up, big up the whole island, massive. Big up, tune in. There was one more bit of news we forgot, wasn't there? Because didn't Adam Andre get married? This is like gossip news, though. Is it gossip news true or gossip news not true? I keep asking for this section in the news show as well, Matt. Are we doing it? We're finally talking climbers, about gossip. The, we've done this before. Climbers hate gossip. We get shouted at for being like not but serious. They don't. They're they the think biggest, we're serious. Whatever. They're the biggest gossipers ever. Like I turn up what to climbers? a crack and everybody's like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Unofficially, but an official news show, we can't gossip. So is this actual news or is this something you've made up? I was in Frasassi having dinner with all the Italians. Right. And uh, somebody, I'm not going to drop any names, uh, Claudio, mentioned that uh, Adam got married in Italy, in Trento. So this is insider news? This is insider news. But he also said this because he saw a picture on Sarah Grippo's Instagram of them being all dressed up like sat down in a field Ooh. that looked like a wedding. It's kind of gossipy, this. I kind of like it's it. It's so gossipy. You can't I'm just reveal reporting, your sources. though. I'm not yeah, making... Don't reveal your sources. We can't. I just name dropped. Yeah, but I don't know who it was. Oh, yeah, you did. Just uh, so sad. No, okay. Well, uh, there we go. It's out there now. 
shop stuffs and I want to talk about black diamond stuff uh, because I actually got given we did this black diamond shoot quite recently and they very kindly usually give us clothes mm. my new t-shirt from black diamond is so lovely it's like long you know like a long tee yeah. super soft really breathable I lent it back I left it in a car my mate tried it on he didn't realise it wasn't his t-shirt but it was the best t-shirt he's ever had was gutted and I gave it back all this is because we're selling black diamond gear and you can get it on the shop right now restocked Hardware gear. You talked about software. Yeah, Matt. you get some hardware too, but the software. <laughs> is it software? Soft That's goods, clothes. Really not how you say it. But about shop stuff, I've got Grivel back in stock. So, all your favorite, what is it? Yellow, techy Grivel gear. Yeah. They have really techy, like. Why don't they sponsor Magos? <laughs> Boa, fari loro. Magos goes alpine climbing. Grivel, get in there. It's a marketing tip for you content now uh, and Matt Phillips Matthew Phillips I don't know what he prefers to go by but epic TV athlete Matthew Phillips uh, para climber stunning dude just awesome guy absolutely love him to bits we've got a new movie coming out with him Ooh. it's very cool check out this teaser so the first thing that goes through my mind when I'm looking at a new problem I've never seen before uh, sometimes the problems are impossible you know there's like they're all pocket routes or something like that so the first thing I do is look for any anything like that any like pocket sections like thin cracks I can't do mm, just yeah. sort of iron up all of those things and I can sort of put those problems to the side for the moment you know maybe come back later it could be possible but go and look for something that suits me a little bit more so slopers good positive crimps obviously jugs I like good steep stuff I'm not really a good slab yeah, climber yeah. so I look for the nice steep roots that sort of thing uh, and then obviously eyeing up the bolts once I've had a look at the route figuring out where they are how many quick draws I'm gonna need and all that sort of stuff watch me So this movie is out there are links down below go check it out I know we use this word a lot referring to paraclimbers like inspiring but don't use the word i know but do you have a better synonym badass fine can we say kick it ass can we say that the badass. ass yes. yes i said it no yeah you're right like paraclimbers are amazing uh and whatever matt's just i remember and i always bang on about this story i went to B Blockfest. yeah matt was there on a like steep campus board kicked my ass a campus he moved destroyed me he's so so strong so it's a wicked film Go watch it. And you can do one arm pull ups, and you can't. Exactly. Well, I have before, just maybe not in this exact training cycle. Um, we need to talk about comment of the week. Uh, you said you were going to sing. Oh. You did say you were going to sing. I'm not making this up. You were like, I'm going to sing. A C word. Uh... Go on, sing. I'll do a little tune for no, you. No, 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 I got it. Happy comment of the week. Happy comment happy comment of the week, guys. Very sorry, I'm sorry. Let the happiness follow you everywhere. We all know we should that. Our life be a full. Let happiness every moment. Remember, you can send your comment of the week uh, songs to climb at epictv.com. Uh, so send us a song if you've got a better song than what T just did, and that's not hard, is it? So send over a song and we'll play it on the show. Please send songs. What's your comment? Have you got a comment? Uh, I do, but I also lost it. Okay. Um, um, hang on. I found it. Wait. Did you find yours? No. Fill time. Oh, this um, always how was the drive to Slovenia? Oh, it was so long. It was so. I've literally lost it. How was the drive to Frasasi? Endless. Mine was more endlessly than you. Have you found See, it? See, but you go it. and Alice uh, played like 90s, 2000s I got songs. One. I got one. We can okay. stop filling. Whatever's going on here, stop it immediately. Okay, this is from Rob Campbell. I split my shin on an indoor route and needed stitches. I won't be climbing for at least another week. And this channel is one of the few things that keeps me sane. Thank you, guys. No, Matt, I also uh, picked that comment. So what I wanted to say about that comment is like quick recovery. Yes. There we go. That's comment of the week, I guess. Just wanna, I wanna comment of the a week. Wanna, a wanna, a banger. A banger. Quit. Straight in. Done. We're done for the show. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next week. Bye bye. Ciao. Happy birthday.